If you guys ever wanted to get into real estate investing right now is the time. Now, this is not a prediction or it's not, uh, it's not you know, a stated. This is real facts. Now, the way I think people should be getting to real estate investing is based off of, you know, the market. OK, and right now the Fed just made a huge change. They just announced that in 2024, they're going to be dropping the interest rates five times. What this is going to do is lower the interest rates, drive up the prices and essentially increase demand through rules and laws. Now, if you're smart, we still got 30 days left to the year. You should be learning how to market direct to seller and get deals under contract. In this video, let's go over some secrets that you guys need to know that can help you dominate next year in the market. What's up guys, it's your boy Sawan Belcher. Welcome to the This Is Me Taking Action YouTube channel. We actually share weekly real estate advice so you can make as much money as possible during a 30, 30 day period of time while you cherry pick the very best houses for yourselves. If you'd like to get information about the real estate market, how you can dominate, just click the link below so that way you can sign up for our newsletter and that way you guys can grow and scale with us. Now, this is a huge deal. Anytime the Fed makes decisions, for the economy, something big always happens. Let's go back and let's remember what happened during COVID. So when, curb, when COVID happened and they shut down the market, essentially they said everybody had to stay in the house. What they did was they drastically lowered interest rates to get people to want to come out and buy. Now, when they lowered the interest rates, that forced prices to go up because demand went up. OK, and just like Dr. K at A&T said in microeconomics, anytime the supply is low, because not a lot of people wanted to sell at that time, the demand is high because money was cheap, then prices are going to go up. It's a huge economic boom. Now, what they did to slow that boom down was raise interest rates. It's essentially rates went from three percent up to an average of seven and a half. There has been less people qualifying, you know, that's able to qualify for a loan. There's been less real estate investors that want to get loans because cash flow is less. Uh, and then there's also kind of driven down prices. They're not growing as fast. They're kind of staying stable or, or making a slight adjustment. Now, when the feds decide to make more rules, this will influence people's decisions to buy or sell. OK, now, so realistically, whenever the Fed makes these kind of decisions as a real estate investor, you should be thinking, how can I participate in this kind of law? Let's go back to when Mr. Trump made the law about opportunity zones. He came out with an opportunity zone law that essentially said that, hey, real estate investors who wanted to invest in these low income areas, you guys can avoid taxes if you hold on an improved property. Uh, for 10 years in these particular areas. So people started investing and spending money in the hood. So now that the feds are talking about dipping or lowering the interest rates five different times, here's exactly what's going to happen and how you guys can take advantage of this particular scenario. Now, this is a 2024 rule and it's still 2023. So realistically, it's holiday time. So most real estate investors have kind of taken off this holiday time, just like the kids from school or just like the, the county does. Everybody kind of slows down work. So here's how you can kind of sneak in and get ahead of this thing. Right now, you should start marketing direct to seller, not necessarily with real estate agents, because agents are going to be putting things on the market for everybody else to see. You want to go direct to seller so that way you can work directly with homeowners who aren't doing this market research that I'm telling you right now. Now, when you go directly to those sellers and you get them to agree to a price, uh, technically you want to uh, you want to have some kind of equity, maybe not a huge margin where you're buying at 40 or 50 percent margin. But if you get into a, if you are able to get into a deal where you're able to buy at 65 percent of loan to value or 75 percent loan to value, then that's only going to be greater in the near future. See, what's going to happen is the first time they lower the interest rates, let's call it an average from 7.5 down to seven and a half percent, more mortgage applications are going to start to be put in. And then the second time 
when they drop interest rates, let's say down from 7% down to 6%, more mortgage applications are gonna come in. Now, when I look at my portfolio and the flips that I typically do, it takes me six to nine months to put a property up for sale. Like I go through it and I, I buy the house, right? I get insurance, I start fixing it up, clean it up a little bit. I take pictures of it and all those good things and do some landscaping. And then I put it up for sale and then a buyer buys it. That typically takes me six months to seven months. So right now, if you start doing this in December, by the time interest rates are going down, prices will have started to go up as well. Okay, and so this is going to create equity for you. So right now you'll be able to jump into the market and buy a, a decent deal right now and the market will turn it into a great deal. This is what real real estate investors are doing. Follow the rules that are going on right now. Use funding strategies and using sales strategies to lock up and get control of property. And then when the time is right to sell them for the most money possible. If you guys wanna learn exactly how you can get into real estate investing, follow us right here on This Is Me Taking Action YouTube channel so that way you guys can get in the real estate game. All right, now remember, you don't need all three, time, money, and knowledge. You just need two to do you. Peace, y'all.